now that we discussed the uh, various embedded uh, technologies, uh, let's go ahead and apply them. So I think what we'll do is we'll go from easiest to hardest um, and just go that way. All right, so first off we wanna do is just right click and open with uh, Visual Studio Code or whatever text editor you're using, um, and then you'll have it popped up here. Um, after that, what you need to do is go to YouTube and you need to search for Rick Astley, never gonna give you up because everybody knows that's the number one video. Um, 1.5 billion views, which is kind of nuts. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that. Okay. Um, and then I'm not gonna wait for this video here. You're gonna go to share and then you'll click on embed and then it will give you the code right here. And actually what it is, it's an iframe piece of code, which is um, uh, pretty easy. So you can just click on copy. You can even, if you like play it, uh, you can tell it where you want it to start. So if you want it to start at a specific spot, you can do that as well. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna click on copy because I'm just, I just want the whole video. Um, I'm gonna put this guy back over here. And then um, I wanted to replace the one, um, the, uh, the two bottom sections. So let's see if I just open this up so we can see it. I guess we'll just do it here. Um, I wanted to replace uh, this one with a video and I'm gonna do Google Maps with this one. So uh, one of the two articles here. So uh, which section is that? So uh, row article, it's like close to the bottom. Okay, so this would be the second one. This would be the first one. So we're just gonna replace this image with that iframe. So literally just grab this IMG. I'm gonna delete that and we're gonna hit Control V or Command V and voila, there is the um, thing. So we'll save that real quick. And then I'll go back here. Where Where is it? This one, we're gonna hit refresh. And there you go. Now, there is somewhat of a problem you may notice because um, for one, uh, we'll notice too, is that if a, I think it's if it's not live. So because this is local, it actually won't show music videos. Other videos will work, but not music. And I think it has something to do probably with um, ads. They probably wanna make sure that they get paid. I'm not sure. Uh, might be a way if someone does ad blocker, I don't know. But I think regular videos work, just not those. Um, so you can see that it's this size. And the reason why it's like that is because um, right here it has this width and height. So actually just take that off like so, and then save it and then go back and then I'm gonna hit refresh um, and then it will fit to the regular size. Um, we are gonna have to do some other things to it in order to make this uh, function the way that we actually want it to. Um, but there is a YouTube video. So in order to um, complete the uh, other section here, in order to do our um, uh, Google Maps, uh, you're gonna go to Google Maps and then you are going to uh, search and I'll probably put links down that you'll see on the side, um, but you go to Google Maps, search for a location, and then you'll end up here. Uh, what we wanna do is just click on share and then you'll see embed a map. And there you go, copy HTML. And so you can copy that. Once again, go back here and we're gonna go to the second one here where I have this other image. Just gonna go ahead and replace that and hit Control V or Command V if you're on a, a Mac. Or, uh, Mac. Uh, I, once again, I'm gonna take out the width and height information because um, I do not need that. And then we will save it. And when we go back to here, hit Control R, you will see uh, our map, okay? Uh, again, we're gonna have to make some adjustments to this for a number of reasons. Um, one is uh, you can see like this, this needs to be larger. So I think the way we have them divided up half by half. So that doesn't really work as well. Um, now, the next thing I wanted to do is for the footer, I was picturing doing um, uh, my social media stuff on the bottom, right? So to do that, we're gonna have to use Font Awesome. Now, if we go to Font Awesome and I go to Font Awesome site, one way of doing it is clicking on start for free and you have to create an account. Um, in order to bypass that, just in this uh, case, um, obviously it's not gonna be the latest version, but it will get me mostly what I need. Um, I would say if you are a web designer and in the future, you should just make the account and you can follow mostly what I'm gonna be doing right now. I just don't remember my account information and I don't wanna have to go through and tell you guys how to make accounts. Um, so. Um, I, I would I would do it this way, okay? And if you want to do it this way, absolutely go ahead. Um, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the old version uh, 
So if you go to W3 schools, which I may have shown, I, I know I've shown you before where they have all the stuff, uh, they have lots have of, um, a lot of different, uh, uh, options and things. Um, the, a lot of references and stuff that is good information to have. Um, they, uh, they also have stuff on Font Awesome. Now, they do show you how to do Font Awesome 5. If I click on this and they go through, it'll be like, oh, these things are Font Awesome 5. Um, but you're going to notice it will say that you, where is it? Somewhere it says it, that you'll have to make an account. Um, and uh, I'm just not going to do that. So it will miss something. So you're going to see, for instance, when I want to do Twitter, it's going to be Twitter still and not X um, because it was the previous version. So we're going to be using instead um, Font Awesome 4, not 5. So I'm going to go to Font Awesome 4 and use this uh, instead, okay? So uh, in order to link it, it's very similar to, because um, this one doesn't require an account. That's why I'm doing it, Font Awesome 4. Um, but like I said, Font Awesome 5 would be better. So uh, in order to link it, it's a lot like when we did uh, Bootstrap. So what we're going to do is just going to, I'm just going to literally copy this little piece of code here. Control C. Going to go to my ding dong dang, go to the top here of my uh, page, and I'll just put this right after our bootstrap one and we'll paste it in there. Okay, so now we have that style sheet uh, attached, and now we can start incorporating. So to incorporate it, we're going to go back to here, and then um, I wanted to do uh, a number of them. I'm trying to remember which ones I was doing. Okay, so uh, if you go to brand, um, that's probably the most useful for me. I was going to do Facebook, so, you know, they're generally uh, alphabetical here. It, wait, no, it should be up. Where's Facebook? Right here. So I have the two. I have the round one and the square one. Let's go with the round one here. So it says Fa Fa Square, but if I click on Try it, it's going to open up this other window, and then I can kind of see um, it has the whole thing in there. So it likes to use the italic um, uh, tag, and if you remember, we don't use that one anymore that one anymore right because that's kind of a formatting thing and it's better to use the semantic emphasis the em so because that's sort of like weirdly outdated um they just use that in order to incorporate it but you could also just use span you could use any number of things so anyways we're going to use the i i'm actually just going to copy this uh 36 one um i'll probably change the size of it but i'm just going to grab right here so it's fa you know font awesome font awesome facebook dash square and that that represents that this icon. So we're just going to literally copy that control C or command C go back to here. And then I'm going to go way down to the bottom. Um, and we're going to go to, uh, where are you down here where we had the footer? Where's the footer? Okay. And all I have right now written is footer. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in there. So I want to have them kind of go across. So in order to make them go across, I'm going to go ahead and make a um, a uh, another class and in row inside of it, um, because that way I can kind of I can cut that column inside of other columns if that makes sense. So this is just going to be a regular um, div, and then we're going to do class, and then I'm going to do row, okay, and then we're going to do div class, and then we're going to do column. Um, all right, so like that. All right, so um, inside is going to be a column in another row, uh, just so that way it's easier to cut them across. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that right inside of here. And then um, instead of 36 pixels, which is the default here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just make it 3EM, um, not DMs, uh, sliding into the EMs. Uh, because that way, that's more responsive. It'll it'll adjust the size according to the font. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go with that. All right. So I'm basically just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to do just four of them in a row. And I'm just going to do uh, whatever. Now, if you want to do different ones, you can. I don't really care. Um, so I'm just going to... I don't know why it keeps adding that extra div every time. It's weird. Like that. And then we'll... This. And then I'm going to do one more. Because I just wanted to do four across. All right. All right. And then I'm just going to grab um, some other ones. So let's go back to here and I'm going to close out of that. And then we're going to look for, uh, I was doing Instagram was another one. Um, like, you know, you could do Pinterest if that's something you're in, into. And this looks like Star Wars, isn't it? Rebel Alliance. That's probably what the RA stands for. Um, okay. So, or what's this one called? Snapchat. Maybe that's what you're into or Steam. 
Um, here's Twitter, right? Um, or Tumblr. I thought that was Twitter. Maybe. Oh, wait, right here is Twitter. Okay. So here's Twitter. Um, I'm just going to use that one, even though it doesn't really exist anymore. Um, so you go back here. And then I'm just going to swap out this part of the, the class name, because the rest of it can just stay the same, and make uh, place that one Whoops, with the Twitter one. And then we'll just go, and uh, what else is there? Uh, LinkedIn I was going to do. So let's see. Uh, you could also do Yelp or Vimeo. You can see there's all sorts of them. Um, uh, where's LinkedIn? There it is, LinkedIn. I'm going to grab that one. And then, again, go back here and put LinkedIn in there. Okay. And then, uh, what else was I doing? Uh, oh, yeah, Instagram. Still didn't see the Instagram one. Here it is. And then here's Instagram. So I'll grab this Instagram. So the other thing I want you to notice as well is that these, um, that they don't have, uh, like, so see how there's only one option here. If you do the pro, it'll give you like the dark build in. they'll have multiple ones. See, like this one has two options. This only has one. So if you did HTML, if you do the new font, awesome for one, it'll probably have more icons than you're seeing here. Actually, you can tell it already has more icons. Look at all these icons. Um, there's also the pro version that will give you even more. So, um, there are like reasons to do this. So I'm just going to grab this last one and put that in there and then we will, um, save that. And then I'm just going to go back to my site here and then we'll, we'll refresh it. And now you'll see there's my icon straight across, right? So that looks pretty okay. I would like it to look a little bit better. So I'm actually going to change the column and rows on this a little bit just so that uh, it's more in the center. Because I just I don't like how how far uh, how uh, how it's sized. So instead of doing um, just columns right now, it cuts it directly in four. I'm going to offset this by, let's say, four. So I'm just going to do offset dash four. Then I'm going to do column. Now I'm going to make each column, I make it one column. So that way it doesn't, um, uh, that way, so it'll it'll move it four columns over. And then th the first square will only take up one column. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm just going to paste this in here for the rest of them. I don't have to offset the other ones because they get offset by the first one. I want each one of these to happen after each uh after each one and then we'll save that and now when i go back here um and we hit uh control r you'll see now they're right in a row and that looks a little bit cleaner uh i think that looks a little bit better okay so we have now uh embedded uh a youtube video pretty easy the uh google map pretty easy and we've also have done this right so it's not too different than things we've already done